Publishing PDFs is easy with Page Plus X6. Hi, my name's Dale from Serif, and I'd like to talk you through publishing a PDF. I've got a two-page flyer here that's ready to go. Uh, before I get started, I'd just like to point you over to the How To tab at the left of the screen, which contains a load of instructions, including publishing a PDF for general purpose or for professional printing. So let's get started. Click on the Publish as PDF button at the top of the screen. As you can see, there's a fair few options you can set here, but the most important is to choose a publishing profile down at the bottom. Now these contain presets for lots of different purposes, and we're going to choose a web-friendly profile. Because it's for the web, there's no need to worry about any pre-press settings. Let's take a look at the image compression. We can see here we've got some average quality JPEGs being produced in our PDF. This means the file size won't be too high, but the images will still look pretty good. We're not going to apply any security. And just to take a look at the Advanced tab, we can see we've got the same kind of quality for transparent regions in our PDF. And we're using RGB colors because it's for on-screen viewing. And we can also see that we're only using those font characters that are actually in the PDF as well. Um, you can make the file even smaller if you exclude common fonts too. So that's it. You can go ahead and click OK. Next I'd like to take a look at producing PDFs for professional printing. So the principle is the same. If you choose a publishing profile from this list, it contains all the settings you need and you can go ahead and click OK. But in this case choose the PDFX1A profile. This is the international standard for professional printing, so your job should come out reliably. But just to talk you through the settings, on the pre-press tab here we can see there's a load of printer marks now enabled and also we've got an active bleed area as well of 3 millimeters. So bleed area is a region beyond your normal page size that the design overflows into and the printers trim this away for a neat result. We've got much higher quality images, higher resolution with a better compression, again no security and in the advanced tab we've got higher quality transparent regions and we're also using CMYK colors for print presses. There's no option to mess around with fonts here, so the job should come out more reliably. And if your professional print shop requires it, you can also specify an output intent here that should mean you get even more accurate results as well. So that's it. Go ahead and click OK to save your PDF. Thanks for watching.